just pulled in the ranch here in Coila. We're gonna be hunting Carmen Mountain Whitetail, and I can tell you what, I've been stoked for this one for a long time. Finally made it work with the schedule, and I think I'm probably on one of the top trophy ranches that there is here in Coila. And so the Carmen Mountain Whitetail actually extend extremely small range. So Coila, Mexico, and they come up into a small area in Texas. So of the subspecies of Whitetail, Carmen Mountain probably has one of the smallest. They're very, very similar to Coos, not exactly the same. I'm excited for tomorrow morning, see what these things are like in real life. Well, we're just getting into the area here and we're gonna start high rack until we get to a glassing spot. So we're gonna hop up in the old cowboy seat here. It's not quite what I was expecting for the area or the territory terrain where they would be at. It's very open, you can see forever, and apparently right now, just starting the rut, it's a little bit late this year, so we should see some bucks chasing, which would be pretty sweet. far on the other side no where are you at it's in the big hill mm -hmm. uh, like 200 meters to the bottom oh yeah i got him now where you've been seeing one of the big ones down in. Yeah, yeah, around here. Good, you got that chapstick going on. Gotta keep the lips fresh. Get them all cracky. Well, just getting back to the truck after glassing this morning. Saw a couple small bucks and does, but couldn't find a big guy. So the game plan is now, obviously you got the truck with the high rack behind. So I'm gonna hop in the high rack, cruise the lower areas, which are extremely tough to glass just because they're so much thicker. So when the deer are on the hillside, obviously you can glass them from opposite hills and so forth. But when they're hanging down low, which it seems like they're doing right now, best way is to high rack. So we'll get up, cruise as many miles as we can this morning. We'll take a little break around lunch, then get back on the hills this afternoon. But I'm pretty pumped right now. cruising on the high rack most of the day. Thought we saw a pretty good one. It crossed right in front of us really fast. Actually ended up cutting it again. Found out it was chasing a doe. It was a smaller deer, but it was at least cool to see one on the ground like that, especially chasing right now. So we know they are chasing. We're gonna hop back in the high rack here. We've got a couple hours left to daylight. We're gonna hop in the high rack, 
continue for the rest of the day there and then tomorrow morning we'll probably start up high again glass and get back in the high rack after that. finished breakfast here getting ready to head out this morning we're gonna start on the high rack early then get up high in glass this morning good news is it was cloud cover all night long so hopefully the deer didn't move hardly at all they should be out and moving this morning it feels a couple degrees warmer again it is crazy being here in January Mexico I was expecting warmer temps yesterday it didn't get above 40 today it looks like it could get into the 50s hopefully that gets deer up and moving a little bit more First spot this morning. We're gonna walk up on this hillside and glass from there. We can see the whole valley. Uh, there's hanging fog up on the mountains behind us and a little bit of moisture in the air. So getting light a lot later today than it did yesterday. Hopefully that has the deer moving later too. I'm excited to get up here. It looks like you can just see forever on the other side. You see in the in the thick bush, there's a tail right there. Right. By that doe? Yeah. In the bush that is left, I can see the tail and some movements there. I can almost make I'm a, I'm 95% sure that's that deer. Like I can almost see his frame and it's big and he's carrying a mask, but I just can't tell. Just laid down and that thick stuff never really got a good 100% identification that it's the big one. We're just gonna wait here a second. We may follow this ridge line. We got the wind perfect in straight in our face. We may follow this ridge line and just try to cut distance and look at different glassing angles down where he's at. Where he's at right now, he's pushing about 800 yards and he's in a thick spot, so we haven't been able to get any footage of him yet. Can barely pick out bits and pieces of him in this spotting scope. 
Yeah, I think that could be a good, good spot. I know we know everything is gonna be on our own side. Bail off the back side yeah, of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did those other deer go that were working on? Deer's right there. I saw his spot. So, okay. They stopped short on that hillside. That'd be good. The toes are here. So the stock is gonna be, it's gonna be good. Right, we go this way, so we're gonna start moving. Get us up, be ready. Nice. Okay. Back. No, you hit him. You hit him. You hit him. Shoot him again. Shoot him. Shoot him again. Wait, wait, he's stopping. That's a really big buck. You got him? He's going down. He's, going down. he's down. Yes, go! Thank you. Thank you, buddy. That's good glassing right there. Yeah, that good, is a good giant good. frame deer. Yeah, good, good job, man. Good shooting. That is a big deer, man. Right there, buddy. Big deer. Carmen Mountain Whitetail is very similar to coos in my experience, just because I've hunted coos a lot. Once they get on the desert floor, they just disappear. And especially coos, especially like to fight, and apparently Carmen Mountain do too, because this guy is broken up, and we've seen quite a few broken up deer. It's one of those deer species that's just ultra aggressive, even though you can see how small body it is. Just an ultra aggressive personality. Carmen Mountain specifically like to hang around 4,000 feet elevation. That's just where the common browse is that they eat. So, but just an absolute great time down here. Carmen Mountain Whitetail didn't come as an easy task. With the thick understory and the deer not rutting as much as we thought, the hunt was tough. But in the end, I was able to cross off number three of the Deer Slam. Hey everyone, for more information on the North America Deer Slam, make sure to visit markvpeterson.com or visit any of my social channels. Also, check out the Deer Slam maps and each species information at markvpeterson.com.